Let's take a look at how easy it is to use the healing brush to remove distracting elements as well as make creative edits to our images. I'll tap healing and then zoom in because I want to remove the trash in the lower area of the image. I'll tap once on the trash in order to set the selection. Lightroom automatically creates a sample area which I can drag if I want to reposition and align a little bit better. If I need to change the size, the feather, or the opacity of the healing brush, I can tap on one of the three icons. The top icon, if I tap and drag down, will decrease. Tap and drag up will increase the size of the selection. The center icon will decrease or increase the feather or the softness of the edge. And the bottom icon will decrease or increase the opacity. I'll tap again on the second piece of trash and then tap in the sample area in order to reposition it. Now when I reach a large area, instead of just tapping, I'm going to tap and then paint a brush stroke in order to cover the area and Lightroom will create a sample area. I can then reposition that sample area just as I could with the spot healing brush. If I ever wanted to make an exact duplicate of an area, I could do so by switching from the healing brush to the clone stamp tool. In this case, I'll leave it to the healing brush because I want Lightroom to adjust the colors and tones when it corrects my selected area. Finally, I want to make a duplicate of this cone. I'm going to start by zooming in and then tapping and dragging over not only the cone but also its shadow. But then I want to switch the selection and the sample area. So I'll zoom out a bit, reposition the selection, move the sample area so that it's actually sampling the cone, and then reposition the selection so that I'm duplicating the cone over on the right hand side of the image. If I wanted an exact match, I could move to the clone stamp tool, but the background's not going to adjust and it won't look right. So in this case, I'll leave it at the healing brush. And to apply all of these changes, I'll tap on the check mark and then double tap in order to zoom out. 